Welcome to the official YouTube channel of iMostic Circuits. Please visit our official website www.imostic.in for online purchases and all documentation. In this video, we will learn how to install Silinx IDE 14.7, which is the prerequisite for the Fusion Board FPGA. Xilinx IDE 14.7 cannot be directly installed on a Windows PC. For that purpose, you will need a virtual machine environment. VirtualBox 5.2.34 is the recommended virtual machine environment for hosting Xilinx IDE 14.7. First, we will download VirtualBox. The download location is mentioned in the description of the video. Download this specific file. Download it. Now we will install the virtual box. Follow the steps shown in this video for successful installation of virtual box in Windows 10. Done. Now we shall download Xilinx IDE 14.7 from the location again provided in description of the video. For downloading Xilinx IDE, you have to sign up on AMD website. Download it. Now for successful installation, follow each and every step shown in this video. Some installation warning may come depending on the processor you have in your computer but most of the time you can ignore the warning and proceed. Now the installation is complete. So we are done with installing a virtual machine that is VirtualBox 5.2.34 and then Xilinx IDE 14.7 within it. Now open the VirtualBox and tweak the settings as per your computer capability. In most of the cases you can follow the settings we have shown in this video. Setting up the shared folder is very important for accessing IDE project files and the binary files directly from the Windows environment. Now as we are set, let's start the virtual machine. This is a virtual OS or platform within which your Xilinx IDE is installed. Now double click the project navigator icon. It will open your project window. Now you can create a new project or open an existing one. We are opening an existing one. On the left side you have this project panel where you can find all your Verilog files and the project UCF file. So now you are ready to start writing your own FPGA codes. 
So that's it for this video. To learn more about writing codes in Xilinx IDE 14.7 and how to generate binary files for programming the FPGA, watch our other videos. Thank you.